Checklist for installation and configuration of AX Retail Headquarters. In this module, we will be discussing regarding the prerequisites for installing and configuring AX Retail Headquarters. The objective of this module is to provide an understanding of pre-installation checklist for retail headquarters along with an overview of shared directory for installation, inclusion of service packs and updates in a new installation, requirements for service accounts. Pre-installation checklist. Before installing retail headquarters, it is recommended that you install the AOS, Microsoft Dynamics AX clients, the Microsoft Dynamics AX databases with all required models and the .NET Business Connector. Before you install Microsoft Dynamics AX, you must plan the implementation and complete these pre-installation tasks. Plan the deployment of Microsoft Dynamics AX. For more information, refer to Implementation Planning Guide available at Microsoft Download Center. Look for updated installation documentation for Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 on the web. For more information, refer to Installation Guide available at Microsoft Download Center. Review the system requirements. If you plan to upgrade the operating system, you must perform the upgrade before you install Microsoft Dynamics AX. If you upgrade the operating system after Microsoft Dynamics AX has been installed, you may experience problems. For example, instances of application object server may not start or registry entries may be deleted. For more information, refer to the system requirements available at Microsoft Download Center. Create service accounts that Windows services can run as. For example, you must create accounts to run Microsoft Dynamics AX services and Microsoft SQL Service services. Copy the DVD contents to a shared directory. Obtain product updates and copy them to the installation directory for Microsoft Dynamics AX. Make sure that your domain account has the appropriate permissions to perform the installation. Verify that all prerequisites have been met. Create a shared directory. Before you install Microsoft Dynamics AX and subsequent service packs or updates, we recommend that you create a shared directory on a file server. Then copy the contents of the Microsoft Dynamics AX DVD and the service packs or updates to this network location. Perform all installations from this network location instead of the DVD. By giving users a shared network location from which to install Microsoft Dynamics AX, you can make sure that the same version of the software is installed on all computers. Additionally, the installation program may later require access to files from the location where setup was run. For example, the installation program may require access to the files when you upgrade or when you modify the installation or when you uninstall a component or update. If setup was run from a network location, the installation program can require and retrieve the files silently from the network. However, if the setup was run from a DVD, the user is prompted to insert the DVD when files are required. Before you install Microsoft Dynamics AX, follow these steps to create a shared directory for the contents of the DVD. Create a directory that is named as Dynamics AX6. Share the Dynamics AX6 directory. Give the administrator group full control or owner access. Give everyone group read access. As a security best practice, we recommend that you prevent users from making changes to this directory. Only read access is required to perform an installation from this directory. Copy the contents of the Microsoft Dynamics AX DVD to the Dynamics AX6 directory. Copy the installation files for service pack and updates to the directory. For more information about how to include service packs and updates, see the next topic in this lesson. Include service packs and updates. If you are installing Microsoft Dynamics AX components for the first time and service packs or updates for Microsoft Dynamics AX are available, you can incorporate the updates into the installation by using a process that is known as slipstreaming. Some customizations can also be included in the slipstreaming process. When updates are slipstreamed, setup automatically detects and applies them. In this way, the time that is required to install the whole Microsoft Dynamics AX solution is reduced. Please note that the components that were previously installed are not updated when service packs and the code updates are slipstreamed. For example, 
an instance of AOS is installed on a server. Later, you add service packs or updates to the installation source. And you also install another Microsoft Dynamics AX component on the same server. In this scenario, the existing AOS instance is not updated. You can slipstream the following kinds of updates. Service packs, cumulative updates, help content updates, customizations that are packaged in model files. Individual hotfixes cannot be included in the slipstreaming process. Use the following procedure to include service packs and updates in the installation. To find service packs and updates, visit the customer source website. Login is required here. Browse to the shared network folder from which you install Microsoft Dynamics AX. In the updates folder, create a subfolder for each update. We recommend that you use the knowledge base article numbers for the updates as the names of the subfolder. Extract each update into the appropriate subfolder. For example, for the update that is associated with knowledge base article number 123456, create a subfolder that is named KB123456. If you use the update folder to deploy model files that contain customizations from independent software vendors ISVs, create a subfolder for each ISV. In the folder for each ISV, create a subfolder that is named models. For example, the folder structure might be updates slash ISV name slash models. Run setup and select the components that you want to install. To install updates for help content, you must select the help server component and then select the updated content set on the language and content selection page. To install additional model files, you must select the database component and then select the additional model files on the select additional models page. Setup detects and installs the updates. Verify the required permissions. Before you begin the installation of Microsoft Dynamics AX, work with a system administrator to make sure that the account that you are logged on with at each server has appropriate permissions. These permissions are recommended based on the principle of least privilege. In all cases, you must be a member of the administrator group on the local computer where you are installing a component. The following permissions are required in addition to the administrator access on the local computer. To install the database component, membership is required in the DB creator role on the instance of Microsoft SQL Server. If you install the database remotely from a computer other than the database server, you must log on to the remote computer by using an account that is an administrator on the SQL Server computer. Setup requires access to SQL Server services. To install the application object server component, membership is required in the sysadmin role on the instance of SQL Server that you want to connect to. to Install the Enterprise Portal for Microsoft Dynamics AX. The following memberships are required. Membership in the System Administrator role in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Membership in the Administrators group in the Windows on the web server. Membership in the Farm Administrator group in Microsoft SharePoint 2010 products. Membership in DB Creator role on the instance of SQL Server that is used for SharePoint 2010 products. Membership in the WSS Content Application Pools database role in the SharePoint Config database. To install the Enterprise Search for Microsoft Dynamics AX, the following memberships are required. Membership in the System Administrator role in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Membership in the Administrator Group in Microsoft SharePoint Services. Membership in the DB Creator role on this instance of SQL Server that is used for Microsoft SharePoint Services. To install Help Server component, membership is required in System Administrator role in Microsoft Dynamics AX. To install Microsoft 
SQL Server Reporting Services Extension Component, membership is required in the System Administrator role in Microsoft Dynamics AX. To install Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Server Services Configuration Component, the following memberships are required. Membership in the System Administrator role in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Membership in the SQL Server Security Admin Server role. Membership in SQL Server DB Owner Database role for Microsoft Dynamics AX database. To install the web services on Internet Information Services component, membership is required in the System Administrator role in Microsoft Dynamics AX. To install the Synchronization Service component, membership is required in the System Administrator role in Microsoft Dynamics AX. To install the Synchronization Proxy component, the following memberships are required. Membership in the DB Owner Database role in the SQL Server Database for Microsoft Project Server. Membership in the System Administrator role in Microsoft Dynamics AX. For Retail Store Database Utility Component, no additional permissions are required to install. But to configure Sync Service, membership is required in the sysadmin role on the instance of SQL Server that you want to connect to. To install Commerce Data Exchange Async Server, you need service account under which the specified application pool will run. You will also need to list the user account that AOS is running as. To summarize, in this module we covered the following topics. Pre-installation checklist for retail headquarters, shared directory for installation, inclusion of service packs and updates in the new installation, requirements for service accounts.